like how many more classes are left aditya how many more ah, okay hmm? like to be honest okay the c yeah. which you are learning now like the things which you are learning now doesn't even can scratch the surface of c like it's really basic so oh. if you ask me the number of classes i don't know maybe infinite because it depends on how fast you learn right yeah 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 and it depends upon the teacher <laughs> okay just kidding give some interesting problems also today yeah that's also that uh interesting as in they're pretty generic uh, like uh, that kind of stuff is uh, uh general things you will uh, you will have to do to get a grab of uh, the looping structures as such i post the link to the online editor uh, in the chat so okay, we'll start hi loops loops are very useful when you have to repeat a set of statements again and again based on a condition or a finite number of times uh, there are two types of loops one is a pre uh, test loop and one is a post test loop um pre test loops are the loops where the condition is first seen if it's satisfied then it uh, executes the set of statements inside the block post test loops are uh, the type of loops where the once the st- all the statements are executed then uh, the condition is uh, checked uh, in within pre test loops there are two types of uh, loops one is a for loop and one is a while loop for loop is used in cases where uh, you know the number of times uh, the ex- statement has to be executed okay so let's say you need to print the numbers from 1 to 10 for example you know the uh, number of times you need to print is 10 so you don't have to think about uh, anything else but uh, in while loop okay in uh, what while using a while loop you use uh, conditional uh, you use a condition uh, for it to be either true or false this condition uh, is purely dependent on the execution of uh, that loop we look into it last is the do while uh, loop uh, let's say uh, okay one of the best examples for a do while loop uh, will be uh, password checking password checking or uh, menu driven systems menu driven systems uh, do while loop will be very useful uh, like you finish like yesterday we did the switch case uh, thing right so you say do and then you do the switch case you have that calculator we uh, made using switch case and then uh, at the end you can say do you want to compute another two numbers enter 0 for yes uh, so end 0 uh, for no and 1 for yes and then in the do while uh, condition you can check if uh, um, you can check for the variable i mean choice if it is 0 or 1 and based on that you can uh, either execute the loop or come out of the loop mm-hmm. okay so any doubt still here which wait uh, there's something called while true uh, while true like uh, no, i'm not sure to be honest i never seen uh, never come across a do while loop you need to modify the while loop a bit in order to get a similar behavior to that of a do while loop so yeah, there's no more, this later there's no proper do while loop in python mm-hmm. you can implement one but then there is no uh, built in okay so for inside you will give something called an iterative variable iterative initialization so what you do is you initialize uh, the iterative variable in this part of the uh, part of the for loop then you give the condition uh, which uh, which applies to the iterative uh, variable okay then you give the step value 
tell you uh, in Python, uh, it, by default it is plus one, but then here you will have to mention it. Okay, now let's write a simple uh, program uh, to print uh, first 10 numbers. Uh, so we'll take this off. After that, uh, you'll have to uh, you have to open a curly braces to uh, execute the statements. So these uh, this is where the executable statements will be there. OK. Now to write a simple uh, a simple program to uh, print 10 numbers, I'm going to say in I. I is my iterative variable. Uh, for uh, for loops in general, it is a best practice to use i, j, and k. If there are three nested loops, you use i, j, and k. If there are two nested loops, uh, you'll use i and j. If there are three separate loops, just use i, j, and k if you're using it as an iterative variable. Then I'm going to say, uh, no, let's not say num for num. We'll come back to that. I'm going to say i is equal to one. Now I'm initializing i as uh, one. Then I'm going to say if i is greater than Sorry, i is lesser than or equal to 10. Execute the loop. Now I'm saying i plus plus. OK. So now I'm going to do uh, printf percentage t i. And then I will give a semicolon. After that, I'll have to give a root zero because I've used a uh, int over here instead of uh, void or anything. Now I'm going to run it. I'll choose the one widget. Let's see. It's going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's because I haven't put a backslash n over here to move the cursor to the uh, new line. Uh, see, as such, you'll have to tell everything to it. This is one of the uh, same drawback, but then at the same time, we'll have a lot of control on the program. So it prints 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you may ask me, what, what happens if I'm going to do plus plus 1 instead of i plus plus? Uh, we'll check that also. It's going to start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 because it's going to say uh, it goes to 1, then comes up, uh, increments, then moves up. So basically, it doesn't matter if you give plus plus 1 or i plus plus. Best practice is to give always i plus plus. Uh, one of the tricks which you can perform in uh, in a for loop, uh, like in a, uh, in in C at least, you can do something like this. Now I'm going to say J is equal to ten. Okay, and then I'm going to say uh, okay here I will initialize it here. I initialize it within the loop. I'm going to put a comma and say J equal to ten, and let this condition be as such. And then I'm going to say comma j minus minus. OK. Uh, and then I'm going to say print i uh, backslash t percentage d. I want one of you to tell me what uh, backslash t does. Uh, uh, no idea. Tab. Exactly. It leaves the tab screen. Did you look it up on somewhere? I, I said no idea. I no, no, Abhijit said that. Yeah. Wait, I, I didn't say anything. Oh. <laughs> we, we use uh, the same command in Python, right? So, I guess, yeah. Like... yeah. Yeah, we use the same command in Python. Also. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say J. Wait, what is it again? Uh, it leaves a tab space. Uh, like oh, a tab okay. space is like four uh, space bars. So that is a tab. Space. Like for example, one, two, three, four. This is one tab space. If I hit tab also, it's going to leave the same space. So it doesn't. Yeah, so tab is like four spaces. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm going, I'm printing I and I'm printing uh, J together. So 
I do that, I'm going to get something like 1, 10, 2, 9. So the point I'm trying to make is you can give as much as variables uh, over here separated by comma and run it through this uh, conditions. Uh, now let's say now to include J also, I'm going to say and I is greater than or equal to 1. Sorry, J is greater than or equal to 1. This double and is for uh, ampersand. Am, a double ampersand is nothing but and, the regular and. So if this is true uh, uh, and this is true, this uh, this whole thing becomes uh, true and the uh, thing will be uh, uh, sentence will be executed. So we will come this. It will work because uh, it is true. Yeah. Again, so the point I'm trying to make is you can give as much as variables you want with separated by commas and a condition in the middle as long as the condition is true. Uh, the loop will get executed. Uh, now, uh, we'll do the loops and then do the problems, right? Or uh, do you want to do a, make a, do a problem now? We can do a problem now. Okay, fine. Um, I want you to accept uh, I want you to print n natural numbers where n is a number given by the user. That's all. Simple as that. Cool. Uh, so the link to this is in the uh, chat. I want you all to uh, go and uh, do this. Uh, the whole, I mean, the sake is just for getting the hands on experience on this. That's all. So five minutes. Uh, let me know once you are done. Cool. Are you all done? It's not five minutes, but then it's a pretty straightforward uh, program. Hello. Yep, I just finished it. Okay. Is it the uh, required answer? Uh, wait a second. Did I mess it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got the answer. Anyone else? Sandeep, Sai, Sheikh.
Yeah, I get bombs. Okay. Ah, okay, then. cool. Sandeep? Wait, mine, uh, I, it gets stuck in the middle. I don't know why. Do uh, you get the answer in the end? Earlier, before I put first, like, um, before, before I put the backslash and I got the answer, but, but now when I like, oh shit, sorry, sorry. I put backslash and it's kind of. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Uh, so we'll move on to while loops, right? Why loops, to be honest, are also a friendly bunch. The only problem is you don't uh, uh, you don't have the what to say the cushioning effect we have with for loops. Like for loops, all the things required to the loop will be in a single uh, statement. So looking at it will, be, will become very easy. Uh, so let's say let's take let's do the same program. Print the first ten numbers uh, in type. I am going to say if i is greater than uh, or equal to 10. And uh, the issue here is I have to initialize it outside. Uh, like I can't initialize it within the loop. I could initialize it within the loop. If I do that, it will become infinite loop. And that's not good for the both the computer and your marks. So now we'll print percentage D and I. I have to increment it by one. If I don't increment it, uh, the loop will become infinity because I so it's lesser than or equal to. If I don't uh, increment it, I will forever be lesser than uh, 10 and it will run as an infinite loop. So I'll do I plus plus and do a semicolon. Semicolon, end of sequence. Pretty much that. Uh, that's all. And then we'll have to put a return zero because I've given int main instead of. Oh, semicolon. Uh, backslash in. In Python, uh, just for uh, clarification, why I'm making uh, this backslash in mistake again and again. In Python, the every print statement automatically uh, a new line is inserted. So I don't have to give backslash in. Uh, so that's why I'm making the same mistake again and again. OK, so it prints uh, from 0 to 10. Um, OK, uh, now will you do an exercise in this? A small one. Yep, bring it up. OK, cool. Mm. Uh, I'll come to something. Other than what we did the previous time. Mm. Okay. Um, it will get slightly, get a little complicated, but then uh, it should be doable. Yesterday we saw how to, uh, sorry, yeah, not yesterday, day before yesterday, we saw how to uh, find if a number is odd or even, right? Uh, so what you are going you are going to do is you're going to accept a limit from the user. Then you'll have to pass the limit uh, as an iterative variable in the while loop. Then you'll have to input that way numbers and immediately tell if it's even or odd. Basically a program that tells you or odd. That's the number. But then uh, but then if I'm saying I want to find if uh, I want to find if uh, the numbers I'm inputting are even or not for 10 numbers, then you should be able to do that. So something like, uh, let's say uh, this will be less than or equal to 10, but then I will be inputted from the user. Um, not I, sorry. This 10 will be inputted from the user. And then here there'll be a scan of statement uh, accepting a number. After that, you will check if it's even or not, uh, even or odd, then you're going to print it. Print okay, it basically accept some number of numbers and then check if they are odd or even for all those numbers. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, 
Okay, wait, we'll drop that uh, question in a second. We'll do something else. Or else we'll do the previous one itself. Um, uh, print up to n uh, natural numbers from one to n natural numbers. Just do the previous one. Using while. Yeah, using while loop. Okay. Literally the same question using uh, while loop from the previous. Okay. After that, I'll show you how to do the uh, question which I said before, first, like the order even thing is. Three minutes. Hello, Aditya. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, see, see, Aditya, sorry, I, but I will be leaving now. Is it okay? Yeah, no, it was. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yep, I'm done. Okay, did you get your uh, internet result? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, others? And also, um, Aditya, I read somewhere that um, like while loop, if you're confused, is always better than using a for loop. Uh, right, depends. is it? Depends on what you're computing exactly. Mm. To be honest, yes, uh, while loops are better than for loops, but then constructing a while loop is harder than constructing a for loop. Uh, yeah. It takes slightly longer. For example, uh, yeah. Yeah. for example, uh, I have to initialize this already. Uh, then I'll have to give a separate uh, statement for increment and all. Uh, but then for a for loop, it's part of the syntax. I mean, part of the first statement itself. So you declare, get everything done over there itself. So it's uh, relatively easier. Yeah. So we'll move on, I guess, then. Two by loops. Yeah, wait, well, I'll come back to this again. Uh, I read somewhere that mm, where they strongly argue that whenever you're confused, use a while loop instead of a for loop, and that is more efficient or stuff. Come back to this again. Uh, if that is more efficient, then why is there a for loop in the first place? Because uh, maybe because, mm, I don't know, if you, I, 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 I will, we, I'll bring this uh, again next time. Okay, cool. Uh, do I loops? Do I loops are interesting. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah. 
So the first statement will be a do, and then you will open the executable. Ah, you will open whatever is to be executed. Then you are going to uh, type a while statement with a condition inside. Now in this case, I am going to again print uh, numbers from uh, uh, one to ten. So it should be i less than or equal to uh, ten. Uh, then I can't give zero over there. I should give it as one. I am going to say uh, print it. HD collection. Then what is it? Supposed to do? No, supposed to do I. I have to give an increment to this at first place. Uh, I forgot the semicolon again, but then I remembered it before executing. I have uh, written it in, uh, this way because uh, best practices. Still, there is an error. Oh, there should be a semicolon over there. Isn't it? Okay, so I didn't know that. Again, do well is a very uh, is a type of uh, control structure which is particular to the very particular to the situation. Uh, the as such, uh, it, uh, if you want, if there's a situation where you'll have to uh, execute the set of statements once and then check for the condition. So the usage of do well is very less compared to for and uh, while. Uh, again, I want you to write, accept uh, this uh, limit and uh, print. Uh, the same question as before. Again, yeah. Just gives you a hang of it. That's all. Or do you want me to do the uh, while loop uh, for n numbers uh, where you find the if each number is for odd or even? Yeah, you tell that uh, like clarify the question again, then I think we can start trying. Uh, basically, oh. you want like every time the moment you enter. A number you want to know if it's an order event for a particular set of numbers. Uh, not set exactly. Now let's say. Okay, great. Uh, now let's say uh, I want to find uh, for 10 numbers. So I'll say two, and then it should tell me if it's order or order if. Then I'll say three. Then I'll then it should say tell me it's order or okay. if, and yeah. that. For 10 numbers, then some 7. It doesn't have to be in order. I can give any number 53, sorry, 23. It can be 53. Yeah. Uh, it can be 70, 75,000, things like that. Yeah, yeah, like that. So, but then it should be for 10 numbers. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, will you also try uh, Sai and uh, Sandeep? When shake? Uh, like, did you understand the question? Uh, yeah, I will try it. Uh, sure. For while true in uh, C, we should just put while one, right? I haven't checked that yet, so I'm not sure if, if it works that way. Okay. Rather, you can check it if you want. Uh, like uh, those are like exp fun experiments you can do. If uh, in C, if it becomes an infinite loop, you'll have to close the window or else uh, there's no way to stop it. Uh -huh. In Python, you can just type control C to terminate uh, the process. I mean, uh, press control C to terminate the process. For C, you can't do that. You'll have to close the window.
Is anyone done? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, but it's not giving me the output. Uh, did I make a mistake? Did I share my screen? Aditya. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, go ahead, share your screen. Wait, where did I go wrong? Wait, let me check it out. It, I'll shut. Oh, okay, no. Yeah. Uh, then. Okay. Um, um, L is the uh, number we are checking it for in every. Uh, OK, I understood that. Then uh, uh, I use the iterate variable. Yeah. And why are you doing an N plus one? N plus one, where? Yeah, in the Y uh, OK, we can keep it as N itself, but um, yeah, that doesn't make a difference, even if you put n, it's okay. Yeah, n actually n is correct. Now let's say you give seven, uh, then for, uh, so from it executes still n is equal to six. Yeah, Sorry, i is equal to six. I think earlier I put one here, so I put uh, according to that. Uh, I, I can change it if you want. Still the same problem. I, oh, I want to get an that. output. Okay, okay. And this is a number of times, number of numbers that I'm going to get. Then okay. if I give two, which is even, it doesn't print even. Even though it goes to this loop and prints. Uh, why does it do that? Is the syntax correct? Yeah, the syntax is correct. Uh, um, try removing stan of a uh, uh, person D uh, like below the I equals to I plus one. Oh, uh, that is necessary. Sorry, because that's where he is inputting the uh, values. Nah. Mm. Huh. The L comes down again. L percentage. Uh, it means uh, we are inputting the numbers. I did the like, uh, like I did differently. Okay, okay. Oh, yours is working. I mean, uh, I didn't add the uh, scan of, uh, I mean, like different number to inputting. I just uh, did one to 10 and uh, giving the, uh, I mean, in between the numbers as one is even or not, two is even or not like that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but then this is what is required, but then I don't know why this is not working. Wait, I'll type. Yeah. 
I'll try what uh, uh, Chandrita told. Like for one to ten. Chandrita, before uh, moving on, uh, share your solution also. We'll see that too. Uh, we will find something. Yeah. Uh, wait, I'll make her. Uh, oh. We can share. Yeah. Um. Um. Can you see my screen? I didn't miss it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait. Let us see. Yeah, this is absolutely uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, this is also but, fine. But then the question was different. Yeah, so. Wait, this is working. Can you run it? No, it's working. Um, if I give like six, it's saying that. Okay. One is odd and two is even. Wait, I'll try uh, I plus plus instead of I is equal to I plus one. Uh, that doesn't make a difference. Ah, uh, but. <laughs> Oh. Can I unshare the screen? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Now, uh, oh, I got it. Right? I, I put a semicolon after a while. Ah, yeah, so the loop never executed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we'll do another question. Yeah, we can do two more. And now it's working. Okay. Yeah, we can. Do. Okay. So I want you to input a number and reverse it. That's all. Hmm. One, okay. two, three should be printed as three, two, one. So like 123 must be printed as 321. Okay, so again, we had to do stuff with the reminder. Effectively, yeah. And uh, the while loop. Yeah. In uh, five minutes. In Python, what I used to do is like convert them to a string, then reverse the string, then Did make it. Think, uh, yeah. Like if you thought of that, then it's not that bad to me. Because uh, in Python, uh, there's something called typecasting. Uh -huh. You can just easily convert it into a string and uh, move on. Uh, I told the solution to my mom. My mom was like, if you do that, that's all. So I, after that, I, uh, I had to figure out how to do it with numbers. Then uh, the gender solution. Uh, I take percentage 10 and then add it to a new number. Like after multiplying it by 10. So we should do that now. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, do do do. It's a simple program, da. Ha ha. Yeah, we'll do. Try. All of you can try.
Slow division is there in C, no? Slash slash. Aditya. Yeah. Um, is there a flow division operator in C? Okay. I told it completely, but then I forgot that it was in mute. Okay. Flow division is not necessary in uh, C. Uh, when you divide an integer by an integer, the result will be an integer. Oh, okay. Uh, but the, that's what happened to Arjit yesterday, right? He was puzzled why 5 by 2 is coming as uh, uh, 2 instead of 2.5. Okay, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. You want to see my solution? Uh, wait for something. It's working, right? Yeah. Uh, then good. Sandeep, Sai Chandrita, Shaikh, have you all done it? Okay, fine. I'll object to see your solution. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so basically what I did is uh, take n, find out the last digit. So this, this is the like input and n number from the user, find the last digit of that n number and print it without a backslash n. So uh, each time it prints it, it prints consecutively. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay stop, 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 stop. I wanted to find if a number is a palindrome or not. Huh, so that we can put an if statement. How will you do that? After this while, okay. we can put an if statement. And you'll compare what to what? Oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's. Um, Huh, so we have to make a new variable for a new number. Okay. And then uh, we have to add uh, these numbers with a factor of 10 uh, to, the, to this N1 new number and then check if N1 is equal to N. Fine, go ahead. I want you to do it. Let me it now. Okay, live. Fine. Yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, this I'll do it later. I'll just keep it like this. Uh, okay, so n one is equal to
power of okay. it. What is into into? Uh, there's a okay. You don't need power in this case. You don't need power over here. There's a module in uh, thing called math dot h. In that case, there's a square. I mean power p o w and you don't need power uh, for solving this problem. We don't need power. Then how will you uh, know where to put that particular digit? Oh, magic! This logic, da. You will see. So this logic is failing, right? You will have to come up with another way to do the same. Like you, in your brain, the logic is right. You'll have to add a number by a frac factor of ten. So like, how? How will you do it in C? Yeah, that for that ten to the power something we need to. No. no so no. that. Okay. Uh, uh, did anyone else come up with a solution? There. There should be a power. No. Why? Why no. can't we? You don't need a power. <laughs> I mean, in C, there's no option to put power to the power. Then how do you write? Ten to the power. Uh, you'll have to use a function for that inbuilt function for that. Okay. But that's so, not necessary. That's what I'm saying. Okay, it is necessary. It is not. Okay, fine. Uh, I will not. Uh, do you want to figure out or? Uh, what do you want to make it string and then add the strings together? No, 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 no. That's horrible. No. Okay. Do you want to figure it out or uh, should I do it? Oh, uh, you are asking for palindrome. Yeah, a palindrome of a number. Like if I gave three one three, uh, it should reverse uh, it. We can just check if else like num is equals to the reverse. The number is the same. Then we can print it as a palindrome, right? Yeah, you can. But then, so how will you reverse the now? Reverse the number. That's what we are struggling here with. Yeah, reversing the number. Uh oh, I did the reversing a number. Uh, share it uh, then. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, what does she know? Uh, into ten. Oh, you multiplied it. Okay, okay, oh, okay. So the second statement is um, uh, makes the whole thing. Uh, what is it? Come together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, yes, I got it. Yeah, it's actually uh, really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. Palind uh, palindrome at the end, uh, you just uh, use the rev, uh, uh, compare it with the rev variable. But then uh, the problem, oh, I mean, like what may happen, what will happen is rather uh, minimize the screen, uh, the team screen. Yeah. So uh, you're using num, right? Uh, you're continuously dividing num. The value in num is keep on increasing, decreasing. So when you're checking if it's a palindrome or not, what happens is, uh, uh, the num will be zero. So here you'll have to create duplicate uh, variable just to put the num uh, value of uh, num inside. So if you're finding a palindrome, that's uh, necessary. Other than that, this is perfectly all right. Mm, yeah, you can uncheck your screen. Yeah, cool. So this is nice. I'll show one more thing. There's. Uh, yeah, and we have to wind up soon. So this will be the last. Yes. Yeah. So in rev, you can do things like equal to zero and then num and the rem. Like this is allowed. Like this is part of the syntax. You can directly uh, initialize over here. OK. Yeah. So with that, uh, we'll end uh, today's session. Uh, I would like to give a homework if that's possible because Saturday and Sunday I won't be uh, there won't be any classes. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want you to accept a number and find out if it is a prime number or not. That's all. That's all. That's the question.
So I accept a number and find out if it's a prime number or not. So oh, fine. Uh, you can either send it to me or. Uh, um, yeah, you can either send it to me because I'm not sure when the next class will be. Maybe Monday if possible. Uh, we'll have our uh, regular classes from Monday, right? Yeah, and for, for this, I have a logic. Should I tell it now? Or no? Yeah, go ahead. No issues. Uh, yeah, so I think I did this program before, but uh, I'm telling it out of memory. Um, so basically take the number and check if it is getting divided by whatever number that is preceding it, or I think half to make it more effective. I think uh, if it is nine, check if it is getting divided by till four or five. And then if, if it is getting divided, then it's not prime. Pretty much that's right. Yeah, huh. that's all. That's the logic. So yeah, do it in C and uh, uh, show it. I mean, like, uh, send it to me on uh, the new Teams thingy, not uh, this one. Uh, the CB.EN, uh, the roll number uh, uh, Teams. Yeah, even I'll, I have to change it. I'll sign out from this maybe to uh, by this weekend and sign in for with a new team. So uh, any communication, put it over there. 